Like I said, as you go in there, make sure you pick all your things, the remaining things left, out of that room. If it's the guest's room, you go into, go there and stay. If it's the maid's room, you stay there anywhere. The security house, stay there, but not in that master's bedroom. You get me? That belongs to me. You have gotten a second opportunity to come into this house. You better make use of it judiciously. I am not the only person that got a second chance to stay in this house. You also did. And I think it's time for you to start using your brain for a change. Well, you think I don't know what to do, right? You think that I do not know what I want. Well, I know. And if you have followed my lead from the beginning, when I told you that we should move things around for ourselves, I now would have had enough security behind us. But no, you did not listen to me. Now, nothing is working in our favor. We are at the mercy of these stupid people who are asking us to leave this bedroom. Okay, tell me, where are we supposed to move into now? Into Ben's room? Listen, I don't care. If they like, they should say we should move into the kitchen. I'm going to sleep there. I don't care. The most important thing is that we have a roof over our head. And this is the second chance. If these people threw us out the first time, they can still throw us out of that business very, very soon. Don't you think so? When you have an idiot for a husband, what do you expect? What do you expect? You want me to think? Well, I don't have anything to think anymore. I don't know what to do anymore. Your phone is ringing now. Pick it. Uh huh. Uh huh. Is it on my phone? Uh huh. Pick it now. Is it your phone? Can you not face the real business at hand? Face the real issue. What? 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 What's your business with my phone? Face the real issue at hand and handle it like a man. You find a way, anyhow, anything you want to do to make sure that we do not leave this place. We don't. We, we don't move out of this place. That's what you should be doing. Find a way to fix this. Find a way to fix this. If I fix everything, don't you ruin it, Vivian? Don't you come and ruin it. I know my family, I know them, I trust them, they have, they are emotional people. If I talk to them, they will let me be. But would you let us be? Would you not come and spoil everything? Even if I talk to them and they let us be, can you just keep your mouth shut just for at least some few days, at least? But, but no, I'm, I'm sorry, I know you can't do that. You can never do that because your head, there's always fire on your head. And you're always looking for a way to offload that fire. But quite unfortunately, I'm used to it, so that fire is burning me at you now. The list of my problems right now. And This person like that. This girl is up to something. 
I hope it's not what I am thinking. Or who I'm thinking. So how do you feel? Um, is there any problem? You are here. Should there be a problem if I can come into my brother's room? No, no, no. I'm just, you know, I'm imagining like why you, why you're here and all that. No, it's nothing. I was just wondering. Well, I just came to see the joy in your face as you've finally achieved what you've been looking for. Why are you making it sound like I'm doing something wrong? Or something bad? You didn't do anything bad. On the contrary, but um, you know, in life there is not just good and bad, there is an in between. Sometimes you do the right thing in a wrong way. Then, mother asked you to leave this room for them. You didn't have to take it. What is going on? Why does it feel like everyone is suddenly having a mission in this house? One minute you're for the motion, the next minute you're against. Why not just pick a stand and stick with it? My stand is for my family to be together. My stand remains that my brothers will be united and in, and, and in good terms, regardless of whatever situation or challenges we face. I know Mark has gone astray, no doubt. But we both know that Mark went this far because of his wife. Oh, can we stop? Blaming everything on Vivian. Can we stop it? Mark is an adult, he's not a child. He has his own decision to make. He decided to choose to do this. He chose it. I need you, Helen, to understand that every human being has an atom of bad in them. It only takes one trigger, something or someone to trigger it, and then it comes out with full force. And that's what just happened. Mark just showed his side very well. Mark wanted to throw us out, didn't he? Yeah. For, for him to want to throw us out, what does it imply? It implies that he has evil in him. Know this and no peace. Yeah. I understand what you're saying, Ben. But there is an atom of bad in everyone. But we both know that Mark has, good, has been playing a good part in our lives for a very long time, before Vivian came into the picture. And that is because we were in his lives. And he was in our lives too. But since he, he kicked us out of his life and decided to be with his wife, he's comfortable with his wife, so let's leave it at that. Let it be. I mean, I can't continue to pamper him. Like, I can't do that. He's an adult, he's older than me. I know I think he's like, he's an elder. That Let's just let this slide, let it be. This is mine and I have taken it. Ben, I'm not doubting you, okay? I'm not. But whatever we do in this life, for charity's sake, let us think twice. Mark is your brother, and he'll always be your brother. Okay? I mean, I know what he did was utterly wrong. But what he needs now is not fights. He doesn't need more fights. He needs us to show him love. Like, you know, love can, love can change anyone and anything. Please. Okay? You know what I always say? To fix a crack, we need a bigger crack. Let's just see this as a bigger crack that needs to be fixed. Helen, Helen, you do not love Mark more than me. You don't. But she even love has a limit. And I have gotten to my limit. What are you saying? You cannot love someone when the person finds loving you a hard job. Thank 
you, Molly. Mm -hmm. You're welcome. Mm. It is a good thing you were able to get back into the house. But you do know you have to start making plans. Because anything can happen at any time. I know, Mommy. But I'm just distracted right now. Mm. I know. That is why I'm worried that uh, you're fighting this kind of battle now. Because you cannot lose focus. The only thing that's distracting me is that madman Nick. Can you imagine he's asking me to come to the hotel tomorrow? To come to the hotel? Exactly! With everything that's happening to me, he still expects me to be running around, jumping around and visiting him in hotels. So, what do you intend to do? If you agree, I think it's high time we killed him. Thank you. Vivian! You have to be careful what you say and where you say it. I know your father is not around, but he could walk in any time and you're here talking about murder just like that. Well, mommy, that's the only thing that can stop this madman from chasing me everywhere. Ah, if not, he will keep following me around, disturbing my life, and he will make me keep giving him money. He'll just be extorting me for nothing. Who oh, will be my gain if I take all this money from the family, steal, 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 and keep giving it to him? In all of this, what's my gain? So. You want to kill him? Yes. Anyone who will stand on my path needs to go. Vivian. <laughs> Vivian. You have to be careful how you start killing people. Sooner or later, it will turn into a killing spree. And then you can't go back. The first time you kill, it is very difficult. But once you get past that, once it becomes a habit, it's very difficult to stop. This is a habit I do not intend to stop anytime soon. As long as he gets Nick eliminated, I am good. You're doing too much. I mean, why are you doing this stress and drama? For how long would you continue like this? You can't continue living your life for other people. I mean, your family has got their own lives to live. Just get married to me and let us seal this thing. Don't you think so? Because, I mean, I can't stop you from solving your marital or family issues if your needs arises because you're a married woman. So why do you want to end up like this? Eh, Helen, this is wrong now. You're not, you're not, you're not treating me nicely, honestly. Huh? Chris, when I get married to you, then what? Huh? What's going to happen to my mother with all the madness and frightening going on in my family? What's going to happen to her? Listen, I don't trust Vivian, okay? And I feel like if I leave this house, my mother is finished. And I won't be able to survive it. And Ben is just carried away with all the revenge mission that he doesn't even know that he's crossing lines. Look, you don't understand what I'm trying to say. What I'm saying here is you need to live your life. I know. Because, look, these people would not care if you don't have your life. Huh? Helen, please, Mama is going to be fine. I understand that Vivian is stupid. I do think that she would want to do anything foolish because she will end up in prison. 
ending up in prison is the least of her problem. I, I guarantee you. <laughs> and before she ends up in prison, my mother could be dead. Right? Will Vivian going to prison save my mother's life? So what are you saying? I love you, Helen. Get married to me. This is like the eleventh time I'm proposing to you. It's not like it's the first time. Just, just give me some time to think about this, okay? Let it be the twelfth time. Just give me some more time, Chris, okay? All right. One last time. Or else. <laughs> or else what, Chris? I'll come into your house and I'll burn you out of your father's <laughs> house. <laughs> And I'm serious. So funny. I'm serious about this. Thanks for your patience. Okay. No, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Just take care of yourself, all right? Yeah. All right. And you too. I'll be on my way.